Hello there guys and welcome, it is Niran here and today it is time for yet another episode of West Ham United Cory here on FIFA 15 and I do apologise for how long it's been since the last episode, I will make up for it by absolutely spamming out Cory videos over the next few weeks and I realise it's been a long time so I'm going to go over a little review of last episode just in case a few of you have forgotten because that is understandable. So the first game of the episode saw a trip to Italy to face Genoa in the Europa League and we took the lead early on thanks to a header in the fourth minute from Winston Reid but Genoa were not dying down or lying down and Jonathan Soriano equalised there with that lovely goal to make it 1-0. We got a penalty though after Kranich was red carded and we stepped up and Schoener converted to make it 2-1 despite many chances for both teams. The second game of the episode saw a BPL clash against Southampton where yet again we took the lead early on thanks to N.A. Valencia cutting inside. He then doubled his tally to grab a brace and doubled our tally meaning we won the game 2-0. And the final game of the episode saw us host Norwich, who took a surprise lead late on into the second half through Gary Hooper. But we did end up equalising 10 minutes from time through Cecu Coyate, with the game ending one all. So I hope that's refreshed you guys slightly on what happened last episode. Yet again, I have to apologise massively for the fact it's been three weeks since last week's career mode video. Uh, it's just exams have crippled me really, and I haven't been able to bring you one of these, haven't had time to record. But I am hoping to bring you three career mode episodes per week for at least the next three or four weeks until the FIFA 16 show starts. But now moving back to what will happen uh, this episode, the first game will be somewhat of a baptism of fire against Chelsea, having not played this game for a month. Uh, then we travel to AIK for the final Europa League uh, group stage match before uh, playing QPR away from home in the Barclays Premier League. So uh, having dropped to eighth last time in the table, we are only still three points away from a fourth place finish at this point in time. It's very crowded at the top of the table. Uh, so a good episode here, two good wins perhaps, could move us back into the top four. The only, the only catch with that is we have to play Chelsea. Never before have I beaten Chelsea in a career mode game. So this is going to be challenging. There is just a little recap of the table. There you can see Arsenal in third, United, Everton, City, Spurs and ourselves all covered by three points. And here is the starting 11, or here is our starting 11. Uh, there you can see Valencia up front on his own there uh, with Vinaldum as an attacking mid. Ayu and Jarvis there as the wingers with Coyate and Delft playing as the defensive midfielders. And we would go forward first there as Coyate lofts a beautiful ball over there for Vinaldum in the 15th minute. But he blazes wide. Possibly should have done a little bit better there. But now Valencia picks up the ball. He cuts inside there. Gets past the centre-back there, John Terry, very easily. Now goes past Nathan Ake and he's in on goal. But it's a great save there. One-on-one -on -one from Petacek and in the end clear away by Chelsea and look at this start we are having and yet again Valencia now through after a defensive mistake there from Chelsea but again better check there to deny the Ecuadorian from scoring and we could be 2-0 up easily but instead as we go in at half time it is only 0-0. So our job is now to try and change that as you can see early on into the second half Jarvis there pickpocketing Ramirez and a good strike but yet again better check there to deny our attack and we were really doing a good job of maintaining Chelsea to sort of long distance shots and Scuffe there doing well to pluck that one out of the air before Andre Scherler could get is noggin on it and then uh, throwing it out to Jetro Willems and now we go forward again and what a performance this is Valencia cutting inside he's going to try and test check this time at the uh, near post and a good save again from the Czech goalkeeper and now from the resulting corner it's coming towards Vinaldum. it's a good save from Czech but Jarvis is there to convert and this is perhaps one of the most important goals we've scored all season because if we can maintain this win we've beaten perhaps the most difficult team to play on career mode 1-0 if we can just hold on. <laughs> it was a pretty easy finish in the end there from Jarvis, but an important goal nonetheless, and it's 1-0 here at Stamford Bridge as well. Uchida flinging the ball in now towards Valencia. It's looping there, and Czech just has to put a hand there over the bar to uh, to, to keep it out, really. There, Baker now giving the ball to Andre Schürrle, and he blazes wide. And uh, Chelsea were really playing a fairly weak team. That was until now. As Lewis Baker, the final sort of weakened player, came off for the D for Diego Costa. Meaning it was Aguero and Costa up front. And Costa with an immediate impact through on goal. But what a save that is from Scuffe. He's hardly had to do anything all game. And a fantastic one-on-one -on -one save there to deny Costa a certain goal. Now Zarate with a free kick. He's come off the bench. He's going to try and test check yet again. He does. And check saves it onto the post. It's close but no cigar in the end. And now Schoener going forward. And Injury time. That's a brilliant skill. And then uh, he just skips past the next defender. That's two defenders beaten already. He now goes past another one into the box. He's going to cross it in now for Zarate, who has to go for an acrobatic effort. It goes wide. But what a goal that would have been, having been set up from Schoener. And that was the last action of the game. And we take perhaps our most incredible victory of this season so far. A 1-0 win against Chelsea. And I think that moves us up to now sort of fifth or sixth in the table. Of course, Chelsea were in that melee as well. So we've got three points over them. Jarvis gets man of the match, unsurprisingly, having scored the goal. Good rating as well for Valencia and also for Andre Ayu but the defenders were really solid. Scuffe with a great game just dealing with everything and the defenders doing a great job to stop 
Diego Costa and Aguero, perhaps one of the most intimidating strike forces ever in history. There was just confirmation we played uh, Reading in the third round of the FA Cup after that draw was announced. But now it is time to get into the second game of this episode after a fantastic win in the first game. And that second game of today's episode is the final group stage match of our Europa League campaign. We've already qualified in first place, but now all we need to do is, well, we're, we're basically trying to get a 100% record. As you can see, we've uh, played five games and won five there with 15 points at the top of the table. Let's see if we can now get six wins out of six. There you can see a weakened team, uh, so we had some some fitness uh, for the QPR game at the end of the, uh, the episode. Uh, Moncur and Noble coming into the side, as well as Mbolo and Danny Ings there up front, and Scherner giving the ball to... Danny Ings himself. He's going to try and cut back, give the ball back to Schoener. Surely a goal, but what a save. That is from the AIK goalkeeper. Fantastic reactions there. Now Ravel Morrison set through. He skips away from the challenge there of the AIK defender, but it's an, a comfortable save there at the near post for the goalkeeper. But now Schoener picking up the ball, trying to twist and turn with the fake shot. Goes past one, and oh my, what a goal that is. From Lasse, Schoener twisting and turning away from defenders and then unleashing a brilliant strike into the bottom corner. Fantastic goal there from Lasse, Schoener in, in a tight zone. And it's 1-0 there. And that is fantastic stuff. Now, four minutes later, Brill Donald Mbolo winning the ball back there after the defender. He's cut away from him. Great stuff there from the Cameroonian youngster. Into the box there for Ings. He's unmarked. And it is 2-0 there, thanks to Danny Ings, a good goal from him, but Mbolo doing all the work, winning the ball back, twisting and turning away from the defender and crossing it in now to make it 2-0, but AIK going forward straight away there with a header of their own, Scuffy having to tip it over the bar after it was a very looping header there. Now George Moncur found there by Lasse Schoen, he goes for the long range, striking a good save from the goalkeeper yet again there to deny Moncur, who's having a very good game uh, so far. Now moving into the second half and AIK coming very close there with a header just going wide of Scuffy's post and Lasse Schoen there getting a yellow card uh, after a foul in the build-up to that move. Lasse Schoener there, skipping past the defender though as we go forward and he hits the post. Brilliant stuff from Schoener to get away from the defenders. What a game he has had. He really deserves a second goal but now Morrison bursting into the space trying to make it 3-0 and he does in off the post there. The space between the two centre-backs opened up and Morrison exploited it and blasts it past the goalkeeper. No chance for him and what a performance this has been against the Swedish side. We could quite easily here take full points out of this group and Moncur going for a long range strike yet again. I think we found something here. George Moncur, the youngster, the young actual West Ham youth product, is great at long shots. I might start playing him a little bit more but Schoener getting man of the match. He absolutely bossed the game. Moncur and Noble were fantastic as well. Ings with a good rating as well as Mbolo. Basically, everyone should have got a good rating in that. Rekik and Umtiti were solid. Scuffe dealt with everything he needed to, as he did in the Chelsea game, and two clean sheets in a row now for him. As you can see, we'll be playing Stuttgart in the round of 32 after we qualified from the group, and we earned 2.5 million for our exploits as well. Probably should be a bit more, given a 100% record. Uh, but now, after such a fantastic performance, we actually found out Lasse is uh, his contract is running out at the end of the season. Obviously, he's old enough, he's eligible to be uh, nabbed on a pre-contract agreement by another club. We don't want that to happen, so we're offering him a one-year contract extension. But now it is time for the third and final game of this episode, where we play QPR. As you can see, we're going for a 4 one 2 one 2 formation going into this game. The final game of the episode on a second Barclays Premier League game, and we really ought to win this now. We played Chelsea and we beat them. We don't want that victory to be in vain, to only stumble uh, playing QPR here at Loftus Road. Here you can see our squad... Pretty much the same as the Chelsea game, apart from the um, apart from the formation is different, and Zarate comes in for Cheku Koyate, pretty much. Zarate and uh, Valencia, the two strikers preferred up front. Vinaldum is today's attacking mid, with Ayu and Jarvis there as the wingers, and Vinaldum will get the first chance of the game there, cutting inside and going for a finesse shot there from outside of the box, but drifting harmlessly wide of McCarthy's goal. But now, as you can see, a defensive mistake there, and it's allowed Valencia in. It's a pretty tame shot in the end, and a good save there with defeat by Alex McCarthy. But now, QPR going forward in the 20th minute. Willems has somehow allowed the ball to go into the box, Uchida moves away and Austin there is, is well, he's there to make it 1-0 in the 21st minute. A beautiful header, it has to be said, but poor defensively from both our fullbacks. Uh, Willem, Willems there allowing the cross into the box and Uchida not doing his job. But we're going forward straight away with Zerati. Uh, good Ronaldo chop to get away from the defender. He's done it again here. Can we get an instant response? We can. Zerati, what a goal that is from kickoff. In the 22nd minute, just one in-game minute after Charlie Austin gives QPR the lead. 
inspired stuff from Zarate to make it 1-0 just a minute after QPR took the lead but QPR going forward again and that's how that's poor from Umtiti he's giving it straight to Austin and Reed. they're coming over to sweep up after Umtiti's defensive mistake they're not a you know, back heel is not what you want there but Valencia now going forward skipping past players there but he's unable to get the shot away that was incredible Valencia going past three players there on the run now Willems giving the ball to Valencia he cuts inside after a premature slide tackle from the defender and it's saved there from McCarthy it clearly isn't going to be Valencia's day. We're going to make a substitution. Valencia really should have scored that, but after such inspired play earlier, you can't, you can't really blame him for making such a mistake. Sacco, though, comes on from the resulting corner. It's in towards Diafra. Sacco, and he's in with his first touch. Straight off his head, his first touch from coming on for Valencia. An inspired substitution, to say the least. In from Vinaldum. Sacco with the header, and it's 2 1. We've come from behind. Sacco now winning the ball. It's two versus one. Zarate's not really getting forward, though, to help things. It's a nice little 1 2, but it's given away. Sacco, the wins it back. He tries to dink it over McCarthy, but it's a good save in the end after some pretty poor defending from uh, QPR. Now, are you going for a long range strike and a fairly comfortable save from McCarthy? Now, moving on into the 84th minute, Uchida receiving the ball from Scherner. Sacco with a lovely ball roll to get away from the defender. He goes from the strike from, from outside the area, and yet again, a comfortable save from McCarthy. And that is how it would end 2-1 thanks to an inspired substitution of Diafra Sacco on for Valencia he gets the winning goal good ratings as well there for Delph I think he actually got around the match but was substituted so it's not shown there on the screen yet again Scuffe solid there he did concede a goal but he was you know he did he did okay he did well and after two brilliant games uh, earlier on in the episode he's done a very good job Lasse Schoener there has accepted our one year contract extension meaning he meaning he can't now be nabbed on a pre-contract agreement by another team as we now move towards January only one game before we're in the January transfer window that will be next episode this is it really for, for today's episode I hope you've enjoyed today's episode uh, some very good results there three good wins and a fantastic win against Chelsea feel free to smash the like button if you did enjoy 50 likes yet again will be absolutely awesome subscribe if you're new around here as well and comment about enjoying the video if you enjoyed it that much. It's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a good day, enjoy yourselves, and goodbye.